everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa. Today I'm going to be sharing with you four <laughs> hacks that make life super easy when it comes to cleaning your beauty tools. So without rambling on, let's get started. Is Hack number one is going to be when it comes to washing your brushes. And this is a really quick and easy way to make your own DIY brush mat. So these can be super expensive and to be honest you only need two things to do this and it's super easy. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a plastic cutting board. You can get this from the dollar store. It needs to be one of those flexible ones. It'll just make your life easier, trust me. And you're also going to need some hot glue. So what you're going to do is start creating small dot patterns on your board. You can use lines, swirls, stars, get creative, it doesn't really matter as long as you're creating texture. Just wait for that to dry and then that's all you have to do. So now bring that to your sink and you can begin to wash your brushes. What's good about this is it creates a rough texture making it easy to get all the gunk out. Um, also it creates like a small pool at the bottom that way you can also continuously rub your brush to get them clean. It just makes life super easy. Um, a tip for me is to make sure you're not soaking your brush past the ferrule. So that's going to be like this little metal piece here. When you're wetting your brush, make sure the water doesn't come up past here. This will make it so your brushes last longer and don't collect bacteria. My second hack is going to be for drying your brushes. So also, there's some really expensive like drying trees that are really popular lately, but this is a really easy way just to hang your brushes to dry. It's like pretty much the same thing. And the only things you're going to need are a hanger and some hair ties. So basically lay your hanger on the ground. You're going to take your hair tie and split it in half behind the hanger. Make sure you have a loop in the front. That way your finger can fit through. And if your finger can fit through, that means you did it right. Next, just take your brushes and stick them in those holes um, one at a time. You want to make sure that they're snug because, of course, if you pick it up and they're not snug, they're going to fall to the floor. Um, a quick tip from me is that... If you're noticing you put like six brushes in one hair tie, either get a smaller one, just take the hair tie, create an extra loop and put it around one of those brushes. This is just going to make them nice and secure so that none of them fall out. The only thing you have to do next is hang them up. You want to make sure you hang them in a cool dry place and do not hang them in your bathroom. I know it's like an kind of a, I guess... I guess it's kind of like just the thing. You wash them, you leave them to dry in your bathroom. But the thing is, um, the bathroom is the place that holds the most moisture. So you want to make sure you take them out of there. They'll dry quicker and it'll prevent them from getting excess bacteria in there. Also, hanging your brushes upside down is really beneficial for your brushes because once again, help the ferrule from keeping excess water in there, making your brushes last longer. Another tip is to make sure that you wring out your brushes really well so that when you take them out of your bathroom and hang them up in your bedroom you don't notice that there's a puddle on the floor because that's not fun and no one wants to clean that up. My next tip is for cleaning your eyelash curler. So if you're like me, you need an eyelash curler in your life and you use it every day which winds up with it getting like super crusty and gross and like eyelashes are stuck in it and it's just disgusting so this is an easy way to clean it off so all you have to do is take your lash curler get a lighter and you're also going to need a paper towel and some alcohol you're going to need some isopropyl alcohol which is just like beauty grade alcohol that disinfects and all that jazz so you want to get 70% I use 99% personally because um, I use that for my kit and stuff but 70% will do as well that's more easy to find so you're going to start by taking your lighter. You're just going to heat up the base of your lash curler. This will one, disinfect and it'll also loosen up that gunk on the lash curler so it's easier to wipe off. You want to make sure that you're not spraying alcohol and using the lighter at the same time because alcohol is flammable and we're not trying to light the house on fire. So you want to start <laughs> by heating up your lash curler then turn that off. It's going to be hot, so make sure that you're not touching it with your fingers because that would be silly. Next, just take a paper towel, spray it with some alcohol, and get it like super clean, super fast. So that is all for today's video. If you like these hacks and you want to see more videos like this one, please give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.